friends and enemies. It's not often that I dive into the world of Fortnite, mainly because I've never played it and know nothing about it. But I have a couple of the Jazzwares Fortnite toys that I really like, and now Hasbro is making them. And some of the designs are just, they're honestly great. And of course, I couldn't say no to a hedgehog tree man. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. She? I don't know. What it, I don't know what Bush Ranger is. I guess it can be male or female because it's a skin, right? So anyway, Bush Ranger. I keep wanting to say Bush Master, but that's a whole different thing. So yeah, we've got the kind of unique oblong-ish packaging that um, Hasbro has been putting their Fortnite figures in. A lot of triangles, eye-catching colors. But then you only have this little window to show the figure inside. I prefer being able to see the whole figure, but... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of nice to have this illustration up front. Then you get examples of the accessories on the side, an image of it all on the back. Warnings, not for children zero to three years old. If you give this to someone who is below three years old, then, uh, uh, I don't know. This guy will throw an acorn grenade at you or something. I guess they're pine cones. I'm really on top of my game today, just totally on the ball. And I guess this little sticker is to make sure you know it's not a bootleg. I don't know what this QR code does. I would scan it, but my phone is upstairs. And I'm lazy. So I opened Ripley and um, there was no plastic packaging inside. So judging by that and these little icons here, I'm assuming that Hasbro is trying to go as little waste as possible with their packaging. You know, you can compost and recycle cardboard, though it is worth noting that recycling takes up a ton of water. So it's not really that much better for the environment than anything else really. I took a whole class about it and the teacher, Bush Ranger. No, I'm just kidding. It was really a class in college. So let's open him up. You may not know this about me, but I am a big, big fan of hedgehogs. Not Sonic the Hedgehog, just like, you know, the animal. They're adorable and they can really do no wrong, at least in my eyes. I mean, I say hedgehog, but I'm not really sure what this thing is supposed to be. I assume hedgehog because its face looks like a hedgehog. We've got the accessories wrapped up in uh, wax paper. They seem to be in one piece. I'm not gonna lie, he is so cute. Just that little face peeking out from between the leaves that make up his head, and then the leaves traveling down that make up his body, and then these little birch tree stick legs and arms. <laughs> so adorable. He's got a little bandolier of pine cone grenades, which is just... Excellent. The rubber is soft to avoid being spiky and abrasive. Even on the limbs, it's soft. He looks spiky, but the possibility of him actually stabbing and hurting you is pretty low, much like a real hedgehog. These parts here, though, are actually pretty sharp. If you are giving this to a zero to three year old, have them watch out for this. You shouldn't, though, because it's illegal. Remember what I said about the grenades. Kind of a simple color scheme on the arms and legs, just a little birch tree pattern. And it's not filled in in some areas, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. It seems to be a lot of areas, so I'm assuming it's intentional. And then other areas, it's a little sloppy, like right here on the elbow, or right here where you get a little smudge right above the wrist. But that does not bother me. He is a nature thing and nature is infamously messy. You've got a much more detailed paint scheme on the leaf parts of the body. And even that is fairly simple, just with the solid green, and then it fades out to this darker blue-green at the bottom. You've got some yellow-green around his face, and what a face it is. Look at that. Ugh, one of the cutest things I've ever seen, honestly. When I saw that this was announced, Man, my accent really came out for a second. When I saw, I was so excited just because he's so cute. And then I waited forever. It seemed like forever. Waited forever for him to come out, waited forever to find him. And then finally, he was on Amazon. So cute. Okay, I'll try to focus on uh, reviewing him instead of just talking about how cute he is. Simplistic in a few places, messy in a few places. Like I said, that does not bother me. Still an excellent looking boy or girl. Not much articulation in the head because uh, it's... A leaf uh, tree hedgehog thing. I believe this is a ball joint up at the shoulder. We've also got a hinge on that. Double elbow, but the forearm um, doesn't really allow the double elbow to go in all the way. It's fine with me. He can still bring his arm and his forearm really close together. And like at the shoulder, another ball joint and swivel at the wrist. We've got swivel at the waist. Yeah, we've got a little back and forth at the waist too, but not much. His uh, leaves are pretty springy, so they want to kind of keep him in one place. And then this leaf skirt is going to get in the way of leg movement. But even so, he can arc out pretty far. Back, double knee, 
and the only thing from keeping his leg collapsing in all the way is his actual body. Along with that, we've got a twist on the leg. We've got a twist at the shin and ball joint and up and down on the ankle. So yeah, maybe not much in the way of uh, torso movement for this one or head movement, but his limbs are pretty limber. I went there. I also love the detail of his elbows and knees being this birch tree eye pattern. Super cute and fun detail. He's got these great little grenades across his chest. Very nicely sculpted. Hit with just a touch of metallic paint. A little bit of metallic paint on the buckle here too. And what can I say about the face that I haven't already said? Just, it's just perfection. For accessories, he comes with this beehive. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a backpack. Or, I mean, I'm not really sure. I know that Fortnite people have these backpacks. This is either a backpack in the shape of a beehive that has actual honey coming out of it, or it is literally just a beehive with actual honey coming out of it. I mean, I guess I don't see why it couldn't be both. You can store things in a beehive. I just don't know if it's a great idea. Would also like a little bit of a wash on that one, but again, not necessary. And I do love that the honey leaking out is kind of metallic looking. I just picture him doing the, um, you know, like in the first Bioshock game, you have the attack where you can shoot out bees from your wrists, because why not? I just picture him... Bees! So in addition to the backpack beehive, we've got this rifle uh, made out of wood. And I'm checking against Ripley's gun to see if it's the same sculpt, and it is not. But yeah, this one has finely sculpted wood detail. A little bit of silver here. A strap so he can carry it. Maybe over his shoulder, I don't know. He's gonna be so happy to shoot someone. It's terrifying. It's always the cutest things that you should be most afraid of. Because he also comes with <laughs> these two cleavers, and I'm wondering why. <laughs> why does this adorable hedgehog thing need these giant cleavers? I guess to hack through more beehives, because these also have honey on them. Once again, very minimalist uh, color scheme. I actually don't care that there's no wash on these. I, I don't know, I just like the uh, boldness of them. I'm picky about stuff. The fingers are a little difficult to spread apart, but not impossible, so when you finally do get the weapons into them, there shouldn't be much of a problem with them falling out. Fallout, which is another video game. Did they ever make uh, toys for Fallout? A line of Fallout toys would be really cool. You could have some ghouls and some um, death claws, some synths, but for now I'm very happy with my hedgehog tree man who is ready to commit a horrible crime. I don't know what this thing's voice sounds like, but I imagine it's got a deceptively deep and terrifying voice. Who wants some? So here he is with Hasbro's whip... <laughs> whipply? <laughs> whipply release? Here he is with Hasbro's Ripley release, and they scale really well together. I imagine Bushranger to be a tall boy because he's a tree, and Ripley is just like a powerhouse of a blob thing in armor. So that seems pretty uh, accurate to me, even though I've never played the games. I will say he is a little bit difficult to stand up on his own. His um, There's a lot of joints in his legs, and they are very thin legs, and they are made of soft plastic, so he's a little... he can be a little wobbly. You have to kind of find the center of balance, especially when he's holding a weapon. Also, especially with his backpack on, that's going to add a little bit of weight to the back. So you kind of have to position him just just so, take advantage of the extra real estate on the bottom of his feet. But eventually, you'll get him standing up. I believe in you. So actually, before we wrap up, let's go ahead and see uh, what this QR code thingy does. Takes you to some kind of Fortnite website uh, where you get stuck in an infinite loading loop. It's probably just my internet. Yeah, I guess it's just a thing to verify that this is uh, not a bootleg. That seems to be all it is. Though I haven't really seen any bootlegged Fortnite figures running around. I guess that's because they have the QR code. Scared into submission. So yeah, Bush Ranger is a very fun figure. I love him on uh, character design alone, but he's also very well made. Woo! Falls over easily. Decent articulation if that's something you care about, and certainly a figure that I would recommend. Especially if you like to collect Stranger Things. Not Stranger Things, but Stranger Things. If you like uh, unique pieces, or if you have a display of just really weird stuff. So, likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. Comments are more than welcome, and I will see you guys on the next one.